Let's have a look at the Synthenotes interface. In the upper part you see the name of the notebook. A notebook is a file where you store your notes. If you want more than one notebook, you can create them using the File New menu command. You can open existing notebooks using the File Open command. A little lower down you can see some tabs. These are sections used to divide notebooks by topics. The plus icon on the right creates a new section. On the left there is a vertical panel with keywords. These are your tags. Using tags you can keep different sets of notes apart from each other within one section. For example, you can quickly distinguish quotes on one topic in different languages. Now, let's say I want to create a to-do item. I create a new node and type to-do into the tags field. This tag immediately appears in the tag sidebar. Clicking on it will display the notes with this tag only. Adding several tags to one node is also supported. If you separate tags with spaces, Synto Notes will recognize them as different tags. If you are not satisfied with the name of a tag, you can rename it at any time by choosing the Rename command from the context menu. Having many tags listed in the tag sidebar can slow you down. One advantage of Synthonotes is that it can organize tags into a tree-like structure. In this structure tags are bounded by parent-child relationships, where child tags are at the bottom of the hierarchy. How are hierarchy tags useful? You can use them wherever you need to classify things. Here is an example of using hierarchical tags for creating a notebook with software developer vacancies. On the left I've got employment, place and skills as my parent tags. The little triangles next to these tags indicate that you can click on them to view their child tags. In my case this would be types of employment, cities and programming languages. Now with just one click I can view all the Cambridge vacancies. But what if you need to find vacancies from only London and Liverpool? Simply select London and then click on Liverpool while holding Shift. Shift click creates a so-called tag union, which will display notes that include any one of the selected tags. Control click, on the other hand, creates tag intersection and city notes will show only notes having all of the selected tags. This may come in handy if you need to see all the C++ vacancies in Cambridge. Using Alt-click you can exclude vacancies from view. How do you find a note which you took days, weeks or even months ago? Simple. Just switch to the program's main window and start typing anything related to your note. See, the notes list is updated as I type. Sometimes you want Synthonotes to focus on specific fields when you search. Click on the magnifying glass icon to choose from a list of available fields. In this example I'll search by note titles. There you go, now your notes will always be close at hand.